Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to take a look at installing and using ICC printer profiles in CorelDRAW X8. Now before this video, I assume that you have already changed your printing preferences, so you're using the correct quality and paper settings, as well as having disabled the automatic printer profile in your printer driver. And uh, if you haven't already done that, then check out one of our other videos to see how to do that, or you can follow the PDF instructions supplied with your profile. Now the profile will either be on a CD with your printer, or it might have been sent to you by email if you've had a custom profile from us. Today, we are using the Windows Rico SG3110DN City Inc Express profile. So what that means is we're using the Rico printer with the City Inc Express paper on a Windows operating system. And the first thing we're going to do is right click on our profile and select install profile. Now when you click that, there's no loading screen which pops up, there's no egg timer, that is instant. So as soon as we've clicked on install profile, we can move on to the next step, which is to open up CorelDRAW X8. So this is a fresh install, I've not chosen any options in here yet. This is the screen you see when you first open CorelDRAW for the very first time. So let's get started. So we're going to open up a new file. Doesn't matter what it is, as we're only using this to set up our printer profile. Now, if you check out here, if we go File, we can't click on Print at the moment because CorelDRAW doesn't like printing blank pages. So we shall add just a, a circle to our page and that should enable the print option. It doesn't have to be a circle. You can add anything you want there. So now we have the print dialog opened up. First thing we're going to do is select our printer from this drop down menu labeled printer. And we're using our example Rico printer today. So that's all absolutely fine. Next, we're going to come across to the next tab, the color tab. And here we have correct colors using color profile. So that is our printer profile that we want to select here which we've just installed. It's the this one here, the Rico SG3110DN with City Ink Express paper. So we'll select that. That's all absolutely fine. And now there's another option which you might like to choose here, depending on what you're doing with the printer. Under pre-press, there is a mirror option to print in mirror image mode for sublimation printing. In this case, we will leave that selected but depending on what you've chosen in your printer driver, you might not like to use that. So now let's come back to the general tab. And we're going to click apply. Next, we have this uh, print style box here. So the current settings have not been saved, as it says in the drop down. So we're going to click save as. And I'm going to call this print style Rico Sublimation because that's what we're using it for. And then at the bottom here, we are just going to tick all of these boxes because we want to save every setting that we currently have selected. And now we can click save. So currently we have this Rico Sublimation option here as well as the default printer options. So now whenever we tick Rico, sorry, whenever we click Rico sublimation from this print dialog, we will have all of those settings automatically set. So we're using the correct profile, and in this case, it'll be printing in mirror image mode. So that's excellent. But what can we do to set that as the default option? Currently, if we go to print on a different file, then it'll probably use the CorelDRAW defaults. Currently it's using some custom settings, but we're not interested in that right now. So we'll cancel out of that again. So in order to set this as the default, we go to the tools menu at the top and click options. Now this is the bit where it gets a little bit involved. So you might want to refer to your PDF manual here for the profile, but if you want to follow along with the video, that's absolutely fine as well. Now we're going to double click on global here. 
click, click. And now we go to printing. And we change the default print style to the one we've just saved. In this case, we've called it Rico Sublimation. We'll click that. And now we can click OK. And that is absolutely everything done. So next time we print from CorelDRAW, doesn't matter what file it is, next time we click print, it'll automatically apply that printer profile. And we don't have to go through the rigmarole of selecting all of those options ever again. So that is how you install and use printer profiles with CorelDRAW X8. Thank you very much.